Those, when, I, when, I, when I got the part of Dick Roman, I decided I, I needed a little something special. There was something, Dick Roman, just, he had this politician vibe about him, right? He's very wrong, he has. <laughs> I started to think about an actor I know but, um, who, who does this thing where he's He's about as serious as a heart attack from the eyes up. In fact, Romney has that ability too, where he can look like <laughs> in the headlights, but he keeps smiling and talking at the same time. And, uh, and I thought, I wanted to have that. I wanted to have that look. And some people said to me, how do you do that? How do you look? What is it? How do you? Dick face. How do you? Dick face. How do you? It's really great. It's really great. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret that I've never told anybody. I don't even think that Jerry Jensen or any of those guys know. When I got the part, I went to a guy by the name of Gary Archer. Gary Archer made the teeth for Mike Myers for Austin Powers. He's a great English bloke, and he made me these. So this is my teeth. These are my teeth. So if I'm smiling, you know, like this, this is the way I look. These are Dick Romans. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I just ate. <laughs> so, if you see me and I'm smiling an awful lot, even if I look like I'm about to uh, shred you, you and your family, then I've got my big Roman teeth. <laughs> All right, let's discuss it. <laughs> Thank you. Now we know each other a little better. Now, we, now you tell me something about you. <laughs> Who all is going to the karaoke tonight? Woo! Yeah. Every single one of you are going to sing, right? <laughs> How does that work exactly? Because I saw that on the itinerary and I thought to myself, are we all going to sing? Or do you pick what we sing? How does this work? Really? All right, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we draw straws? <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, there's dancing too. Is yeah. there dancing? Oh, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Crowd surfing. Yeah, crowd surfing. Yeah. yeah. But uh <laughs> so uh in case that I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut some people out. I, I just I'm just a little bit of a mischief maker. I'm gonna see if I can answer some questions before these people answer them. What have I been doing lately? I just did the movie. <laughs> Let's see who sits down. I just did a movie in India called American Gandhi. I just finished a movie called Mr. Hope Wealth Remedy in Los Angeles. Uh, we shot in Buena Park, which is right next to Knott's Berry Farm. So, uh, I had, my children were green with envy. I have a 10 year old and a 6 year old that couldn't believe I was working next to Knott's Berry Farm and I didn't ride the roller coasters every single second. <laughs> I have an episode of Bones coming out. I play a, I play a, I play a, a man with a, a Jack the Ripper fetish. <laughs> wow. The typecast man. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and uh, let's see, I just did an episode of well, my children. Okay, I did this episode of Step It Up, which is a Disney show. This is one of the great things about having kids is that they tend to cast you in things. It's like, well, Disney wants me to do this little show. It's called Step It Up. Dad, you have to do Step It Up. <laughs> and uh, so I did Step It Up with these little, these little dancers. They're amazing. I, I can't dance to save my life. I've broken so many choreographers' hearts in my life. I can't even know. And uh, watching them, it was like old Hollywood. Half the soundstage just dedicated to this dance number. And uh, it was really impressive. So you may find yourself switching through the channels and see me on that. But um, in the meantime, it's just been a lot of, it's been terrific getting a chance to see what Jeremy Carver is doing in season eight. You know, you got a, you got a whole clean uh, slate. And I thought when I saw the episode, uh, with you know the cameras and sort of the, the, the Blair Witch episode, I thought, you know, good for him, because my initial reaction was like, no, wait a minute, this is BS, okay? <laughs> this is not supernatural, and I thought, no, this is, this is Jeremy really planting the flag, so I'm, I'm excited to see what happens next, for sure. So that's that. Now, I am curious to see if there are any questions left <laughs> before I go on waxing about my childhood, <laughs> which I could do. Anybody want to know about my childhood? <laughs> You, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, you, is anyone? I'll throw in the, I'll, I'll answer that. Okay, you did take my question because my 
question was that Dick Roman is very Romney-esque. Yeah. So did that influence you at all? You did. Obviously, <laughs> you already answered that question. Yeah. So I'm going to ask another question. I'm a big reader. I'm curious what your favorite book is. Well, my favorite book, book. Wind in the Willows. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Yeah, I, I'm not. A, I'm not a. I'm not. I, would everybody like me to have said like Lord of the Rings? <laughs> I, I, I I read with my children. I read. I don't know about you guys. I read with my children every night, and 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 I have. I, I, have, I have a ten year old, and a ten year old, and a six year old, and it's a lot of work, but we we love to read together. And my children, they, my ten year old now, has he's reached the tipping point, and he he just read Swiss Family Robinson in like two days. Wow. And, and he reads faster than I do, and and so yeah. I, the, the, for for Graham and I, when he was about three years old, uh, we would read Wind in the Willows together. And he was it was so great because after a while he didn't need the pictures. He just you could see it in his head. So what's your favorite book? Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind. Yes. Another excellent book. Do you have you read a lot of the classics? Um no, unfortunately. Like Mark Twain and stuff like that. Um, when I was going to school and they required me to. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now I read chiclet. Do you have kids? No. You don't. No. I have nephews and I read too. I am my nephews like um, Captain Underpants. <laughs> yeah, my nephews, right? They love that yeah. book. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, right? Yes. That, you can't get that on the shelf. Yeah. yeah. These books, but those are yeah. Well, thank you for asking. Thank you. Yeah. Is everybody else read Gone with the Wind? Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. Oh, 